Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of vaccines. Today, we're diving into the topic of live attenuated vaccines. You might have heard this term before, but what exactly are live attenuated vaccines, and how do they work? Let's find out. What are live attenuated vaccines? A live attenuated vaccine is a type of vaccine that contains weakened forms of disease causing microorganisms, such as viruses or bacteria. These microorganisms have been modified in the laboratory to lose their ability to cause severe disease while retaining their capacity to stimulate an immune response. When administered, live attenuated vaccines replicate within the body, triggering a strong immune response and providing long-lasting immunity against the targeted pathogen. They closely mimic natural infections, offering comprehensive immune responses and potentially inducing herd immunity. What are different methods of attenuation to create live attenuated vaccines? There are several methods used to attenuate microorganisms and create live attenuated vaccines. Here are some of the commonly employed techniques. Serial Passaging This method involves repeatedly passaging the microorganism through a series of culture media, non-human cells or tissue cultures. Over time, the microorganism adapts to the new environment, losing its ability to cause disease in humans while retaining its immunogenicity. Temperature Sensitivity some bacteria or viruses have temperature-sensitive growth characteristics. They are unable to grow and cause disease at the higher temperatures found in the human body but can still grow at lower temperatures in the laboratory. By exploiting this trait, bacteria can be attenuated by growing them under non-permissive temperatures to reduce their pathogenicity. Genetic Manipulation Scientists can introduce specific genetic modifications into the microorganism to disable genes that are crucial for its virulence. This can be done through techniques like genetic engineering or gene deletion. By removing or altering these genes, the microorganism becomes less pathogenic while still retaining its ability to replicate and induce an immune response. Passage in non-natural hosts. Some microorganisms cause disease only in specific host species. By repeatedly passaging the microorganism in a different host species, it can lose its ability to cause disease in the original host. This technique is known as host adaptation and can be used to attenuate certain viruses and bacteria. It's important to note that the attenuation process is carefully monitored to ensure that the resulting vaccine candidate is safe and effective. Extensive testing and quality control measures are conducted to verify the attenuation and stability of the vaccine strain before it is approved for use. What is the purpose of live attenuated vaccines? The purpose of live attenuated vaccines is to provide immunity against specific diseases while minimizing the risk of severe illness or complications. These vaccines offer several advantages over other types of vaccines. Mimicking natural infections. Live attenuated vaccines closely mimic natural infections, stimulating a comprehensive immune response that resembles the body's natural defense mechanisms. This immune response typically includes both antibody-based, humoral, and cellular immune responses, leading to a robust and long-lasting immune memory. Strong and long-lasting immunity. Live attenuated vaccines can induce a potent immune response, often resulting in strong and long-lasting immunity. This means that vaccinated individuals are protected against the targeted disease for an extended period, potentially providing lifelong immunity in some cases. Broad protection. Due to their ability to replicate within the body, live attenuated vaccines can activate multiple components of the immune system. This can lead to a broader and more comprehensive immune response, targeting various strains or variants of the pathogen. It also helps provide immunity against potential future mutations of the disease causing microorganism. Herd immunity. Live attenuated vaccines can contribute to the establishment of herd immunity. When a significant portion of the population is vaccinated with a live attenuated vaccine, the transmission of the targeted disease can be significantly reduced or even interrupted. This protects not only vaccinated individuals but also those who are unable to receive the vaccine due to medical reasons or other limitations. While live attenuated vaccines offer numerous benefits, it's important to note that they may not be suitable for everyone. They are generally contraindicated for individuals with weakened immune systems, such as those undergoing chemotherapy or organ transplant recipients, as there is a potential risk of the attenuated microorganism causing severe disease in these individuals. In such cases, alternative vaccines, such as inactivated vaccines, are usually recommended. What are the examples of live attenuated vaccines? There are several examples of live attenuated vaccines that have been developed and are in use to prevent various diseases. Some prominent examples include 
measles, mumps, rubella, MMR, vaccine. The MMR vaccine is a combination vaccine that protects against measles, mumps, and rubella. It contains live attenuated strains of the viruses responsible for these diseases. MMR vaccination is typically administered in childhood and provides long-lasting immunity against all three diseases. Varicella, Chickenpox, Vaccine The Varicella vaccine is used to prevent chickenpox, a highly contagious viral infection. It contains a live attenuated form of the Varicella zoster virus. Vaccination with the Varicella vaccine is recommended in childhood and can also be given to susceptible individuals who have not had chickenpox or received the vaccine. Rotavirus Vaccine Rotavirus is a common cause of severe diarrhea in infants and young children. Two oral rotavirus vaccines are composed of live attenuated strains of rotavirus. These vaccines provide protection against severe rotavirus gastroenteritis and are typically administered in multiple doses during infancy. Oral polio vaccine, OPV, the oral polio vaccine is a live attenuated vaccine that targets the polio virus, which causes polio, poliomyelitis. OPV contains weakened strains of the polio virus and is administered orally. It has been instrumental in global polio eradication efforts, as it can provide individual and community immunity. Yellow fever vaccine. The yellow fever vaccine is a live attenuated vaccine used to prevent yellow fever, a viral disease transmitted by mosquitoes. It contains a weakened strain of the yellow fever virus. Yellow fever vaccination is recommended for individuals traveling to or residing in areas where the disease is endemic. It's important to consult with healthcare professionals and follow local vaccination guidelines to determine the specific vaccines recommended for you or your loved ones based on age, health status, and geographical location. Conclusion Live attenuated vaccines have played a crucial role in reducing the burden of infectious diseases worldwide. They offer long-lasting immunity and often provide better protection than other types of vaccines. And that's a wrap on live attenuated vaccines. We hope you found this video informative. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into the world of microbes and microbiology. Until next time, stay healthy and stay informed.